I have been here for almost 30 years in Arkansas, and uh, uh, I got my master's degree from uh, uh, Texas A&M, and also the, my PhD from University of Arkansas in Fayetteville. So anytime there is a Razorback game and Aggies, I, I'll be in trouble. But I, but I have learned very quickly that I go the other way for Razorback for almost 28 years. Um, I have done, uh, my whole goal is that uh, for a long period of time, I did a lot of research trying to link why there is a link between uh, diet and all kinds of diseases, diabetic, cardiovascular disease, and cancer. I've done a lot of research on that area, including a lot on alcohol uh, and drug metabolism, alcohol and link to the cancer. So all of a sudden it dawned on me that uh, forget about the regular population, we have an obesity problem, so for past five, six years, my focus has been on the obesity and related uh, to uh, cancer. A lot I have done work on the obesity and breast cancer, and uh, I found it out uh, very interesting just simply because a colleague of mine was saying that um, uh, what, you, what your goal is going to be for, uh, for the rest of the people that they are not overweight or obese. As you guys, you know, 66 to 67 percent of the, our population they are either overweight or obese. As a result of that, there is a link between obesity and also cardiovascular disease, and also uh, diabetic, and, and especially cancer these days. So um, when he asked me about what the goal is for the other 33 percent not to become obese, not to get to this trouble, I, I, I was thinking about it. What should I do? Well, basically, that you cannot do a lot in the human population unless you do a lot of epidemiology studies. So as a result of that, you have to go to the lab and scratch your head and see what the link is going to be. So what the, that's what I have done for 20 years in uh, trying to link uh, between diet and, uh, and cancer prevention. And also, as I said, it's just for a few years uh, been on obesity. So it's, uh, that's one part of one hat I'm wearing. The other hat I'm wearing is, uh, as uh, uh, Linda mentioned, chair of the nutrition department at UMS. And uh, also training the nutritionist and dietitian in the state of Arkansas. I'm proud to say almost 75% of the dietitian in the state of Arkansas, which they are employed right now, they came out of our program. And they have been really the first class education for them just simply because I do believe that if I found something, a finding in the, in the lab, some way, somehow, I have to translate it to the education and translate it to my students Hopefully my students, they can go to the public and translate it in the community language. And that has been really successful. So we are very proud of that. And uh, so uh, my goal is right now, what kind of dietary intervention I can do to save life through torch obesity and preventing uh, cancer, especially breast cancer. And, uh, you know, as you guys, you know, it's, uh, we have almost 200,000 women per year. They have been diagnosed with the breast cancer. And we are losing almost 40,000 a year. That's a lot. And uh, so I think that really there is a need for coming up with some kind of intervention very fast in order to save lives. And, uh, you know, that's uh, all kind of cancers. So anytime we talk about uh, cardiovascular disease or diabetic, there are some solution for it. But when it comes to the cancer, the, it's very limited. So I think there is a desperate need what kind of uh, uh, intervention we can do in order to save the lives.